Gordon Caldwell, growing vegetables, year in Ayrshire. After school and then into university, uh, I got into a graduate development programme. That placed me in four different placements across the UK, all within the fresh produce sector. Thereafter, I got uh, employment in the east of England in a farm that was growing salads and, and baby leaf lettuces. Um, a few other jobs and then I started this business in 2007. I started off uh, just supplying within the county of Ayrshire. My produce ends up mostly in hotels and restaurants. Since then I've broadened my, my customer base uh, to across the, most of the central belt. I'm producing and packing a product that's ready to go straight onto the shelf or, or to be used straight in the kitchen by the chef. Nobody can really beat me for freshness. On top of that, the chefs can boast about it in their menus, about, it, you know, they're, they're using Scottish produce. Hopefully, if I can, you know, make, make my product price competitive, then they'll, they'll use my stuff in preference to imported. The growing process is everything from planting, fertilising, other crop care, spraying, irrigation if needed, and just, just monitoring the, the quality throughout the, the life of the crop. So we make a, a basically a huge master plan in January that will tell me how many uh, acres or, or, or beds or drills of, of each product that I'll be growing throughout that, that year. And then I just have to go and make it happen and, and get the seed, get the plants, get the fertilizers, all the, get everything in place, get the, the land that, that's required for each crop. So we'll start with your normal farm cultivations in February and we'll be looking at ploughing, sowing, and drilling early carrots. February, March, we're into planting early cauliflowers and broccoli. We'll start harvesting probably mid-June with them, with some of the early plantings. We we'll continue planting right from February through to August. Those August plantings will be getting harvested, you know, December and, you know, right through the winter. Tailoring the, 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 the requirements of each crop is a skill that, that I've learnt and I'm, I'm learning all the time. The requirements to grow, say, an early crop of carrots to be harvested in June is a totally different ballgame to try to grow a late crop of beetroots or swedes or something that you want to be harvesting maybe the following February. And these are all things that the customer doesn't really know about, but, but as, a, as a grower I need to know about them and I need to be, to be on the ball to, you know, to make sure that I'm going to get a, a, a saleable product. So many job opportunities within vegetable production. Everything from the, the, the basic growing of the crop, the agronomy, to the management of the machinery. There's a lot of precision technology coming in. There's robotics starting to get talked about for harvesting. There's a lot of IT involved in predicting uh, disease and pest attacks. Vegetable production is probably unique in its reliance on manual labour. Um, so there's a huge HR function. For all of these reasons, it doesn't really matter what you studied because I can just about guarantee there will be some sort of role that, that you would be comfortable in within growing vegetables. I think more and more we are going to be more produce, eating more of what we're, we're producing here. So it's my job to try and produce more of what we're eating. I see a strong future for, for you know, home-produced vegetables in, in Scotland. Aye.